So guys, a real quick video on uh, the key fob on the Vos 900 DSX. A lot of you guys have been asking what happens if you uh, if your key fob goes flat and you can't start the bike. Well, there are two options. Carry a spare battery with you or carry the spare key with you. Now, it's unlikely you're going to carry the spare key. I don't carry my spare key. I just carry this one, the top boxes, and the one for the fuel tank. <clears throat> now, the one for the fuel tank will not activate the bike, so you need the spare key to do it. And basically, you take the spare key that you've got, not the key fob, and the push button starts on the bike. You hold the spare key above the push button on the bike and the bike, press the button, it'll start normally. But it needs to be right next to the button on the bike. So the chances of you carrying that extra key with you, I certainly don't carry it, are pretty much slim. So the next best option is to, in your toolbox that you get or your tool bag that you get with uh, your bike, stick a couple of extra batteries in there. It's dead easy to change the... Uh, batteries in the key fob you can pretty much do it with your fingernails or <clears throat> a key so I'll quickly show you what you need to do first of all you need you need to remove this section from the uh, key these two side bits that are silver need to come off so using your nail at the back of it if you get the back of it you'll have to figure my hands are mucky from working but get your nail under the back and give it a good tug forward you can probably do it from the sides actually if you give them a tug on the side the thing only slips on so you get, need to get a grip on it and pull it forward once you get the two pieces off you end up with the middle section again if you've got good nails you can get in them if you chew your nails you're going to struggle but this part just pops open and once you've got it open the inner part inside is on a rubber sleeve so the bit that comes off is the bit that goes on last so pull the section with the rubber sleeve out it's a snug fit in there and you'll see which way it goes back in because the two button pressures are, presses are there and if you look on the back you can see the two button presses there you then take the rubber sleeve off to get the circuit board out just put that to one side and then the battery like any other battery just slides out so it slides out from that side slips out and you change it and you can use your key to push it out and we'll push the battery out when you get the battery out what you want to be looking for this one's a Panasonic uh, CR2032 3 volt so you need to make a note of that next time you're in a hardware shop you can get a pack of about four or five of these they're pretty standard for most things now get a pack of these and at least leave a couple in the back of your bike because they sometimes they do drain and go up instantly and you're not going to know about it and once you get that uh, sorted put it back into the rubber holder and attack by flies and you can see again the two pushes are there at the back. Put it back in that section. So I think that side goes in first. Let's have a look. Yep. So you push that back in there. Make sure it's pushed into place. Make sure the battery's uh, seated properly. Wiggle it around till you get the uh, cover to seat. And that'll clip back on. Once you get it clipped back on, it's a case of pushing these two side rails back on. In the right way. So... You can see they just slide on through a groove down the side. Click, click. Test it's working by pressing a button and you should see a red light. Try both buttons. Put your key fob, your key back in the uh, holder and then obviously go to your bike, put it near the bike and uh, start your bike. But it's advisable to carry a couple of these batteries with you because like I said before, the chances of you actually carrying your spare key with you I leave my spare keys for all my vehicles at home in a, in a drawer with spare keys in. So on, in the event I should break down and fairly local, I could probably ring my wife or I can get home and get a spare key or whatever. But that's the way to go with the uh, batteries in this because the actual one that unlocks the petrol uh, cap will not start the bike. You need the spare key. Another thing with these uh, remotes for the Vosges, like any other bike, they just send out a signal to the bike, so it's just a transponder signal to the bike, and you can get them cloned quite easily. Most places do uh, transponder keys now and clone them for you. It won't look the same, it'll be a different key fob totally, but it'll unlock your bike just the same. Okay, you won't have this key for the petrol tank, but you could get that cut again as a clone key, and have the clone and the key separate on a fob, and have a separate key and fob. So, another quick video for you guys, hope it's been useful. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Ask me any questions, not really any questions to ask, it's fairly straightforward. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.